one's going to be, oh, everyone's favorite Mayo Bowl. And don't act like you're not excited for this as Maryland is taking on NC State. Who is the quarterback for NC State? Well, it ain't Devin Leary because he transferred. So I have no idea who the hell it is. I think it's a wide receiver at this point. And Maryland, to his little brother, oh, boy, just every time you plan on betting on them, they just uh, they blow it. So, Jimmy, we got a pick em which tells you a lot here in a bowl game 47 as a total uh are you buying uh here in the mayo bowl either nc state or maryland in this matchup oh this one's a tough handicap joe it's probably it's close to a coin flip here mm. um i really don't know what we're gonna get out of nc state's offense devin leary's obviously been out for quite some time and, but maryland didn't exactly finish the season strong losing three or four they did have that 37 nothing shutout win over Rutgers to end the year, uh, but you kind of nailed it off the top. They have their quarterback, so yeah. Tulia Tagovailoa, off a great season, should have another good game despite losing a lot of his top receivers. He's going to have to have a good game because uh, Maryland's not going to be able to run the ball on NC State, mm -hmm. I'll tell you that right now. The Wolfpack, they have shown a little, if they've shown vulnerability, it's been in the passing defense. So that's where uh, Maryland shines. Um, but I can't trust this Wolfpack offense. So if I have to make a play on the game, it's going to be on Maryland. Maryland 6-1 and one against the spread in their last seven non-conference games. If you want to factor that in, in this bowl situation. So lean Maryland, but pass for me. Yeah, it's... Um... Of all the ACC teams here, um, Brian Leonard, North Carolina State was one of the more hyped coming into the season. I mean, they I mean, they returned, what, 13, 14 guys on both sides of the ball? There was plenty of expectations for NC State, and it started off slow, and they just they couldn't right the ship, and then uh, Leary gets hurt, and then that's it. Um, so a disappointing season. I like the coach, uh, but do you trust him to be able to get it done against his Maryland squad? Yeah, you stole my opening there. Uh, coming into the season, that was the hot team. Uh, they thought NC State was going to knock Clemson out, and all of a sudden this is a new regime coming out of the ACC, and we get the same old Wolfpack as we've normally had. And uh, Quarterback won't be back. It, I, 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 I pay a lot of attention to the bowl games based on what the expectations were in the preseason. Um, you know, these kids come in, they're all like, Maryland. Nobody was expecting much out of Maryland. Mm. Maryland had a decent season. They were a pretty good team. Uh, they come into this game in North Carolina State, you know, playing in Charlotte should be somewhat of an advantage for them. I don't think so. Um, I'm not hip on, on Maryland. I mean, it's not a team I'm looking to die to bet on, but I want no part of NC State here. Um, in, in a pick em situation, the only way I can look would be Maryland. It really is. It feels like I got to go with the team that a more established quarterback, Tony Finn, that is Maryland. Mm -hmm, yeah. Although they do figure out ways just to just to burn tickets and backers money somehow. But uh, I really you just got to kind of feel that if Maryland gets ahead here, how is NC State going to come back on this one? Well, the first thing you have to do in this game, in this matchup is figure out whether the rumors are true and that, that Loxley is a, a vegan. So if that's the case, oh, then he's oh, going to lose on point. purpose. Good point. You know, no, he doesn't want mayo dumped yep. on after that's the game, solid. right? Half the guys, uh, I think, are sitting out for that. That's a good point. And if I'm 54. not mistaken, both of these coaches, uh, I think yeah. uh, Mr. Koken told us yesterday the agreement has been made that whichever team wins, they agree to be, uh, instead of Gatorade, mayo be dumped on yes. them. I, yes. I might just yes. throw the damn game right there and be like, you win. <laughs> like, look, Brian, Brian Lennon's like, oh, hell no. I don't know how, what's your feeling about a mayo dump there, Tony uh -huh. Finn? Yeah, I know. That's that's the vegan part of this. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know any vegan. I don't know any vegan wants to even use a, a animal oil for makeup. But Maryland, once, listen, Maryland's numbers, guys, are pretty. If you, I was going through the history of bowls, and I came up with some some Loxley numbers. Not that Dave D is anything fantastic, but Loxley uh, against uh, against. I, I read this, so let's take it with a grain of salt. But versus a versus a, an opponent with a better record. Mm. A three and thirty nine, three and thirty nine, straight up fifteen Oof. and twenty seven against the spread. Uh, one six and one in uh, as a bowl team not favored by three or three and a half or more. Essentially, if if they 
if the odds makers make this Loxley team a favorite, then over three points, they should be good to go. Um, you guys have talked really a lot about this. Uh, it's really difficult to, to back either one of these teams. They really have, have a lot of confidence uh, going into the game. So, um, you know, I'm going to kick this to the curb, although I, I probably will watch it just because I, I got to see this. I got to see this tub full of mayo dumped on somebody. It's got to be interesting. Mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm. Yeah. Nothing like uh, <laughs> looking forward to a pick em game that involves mayo at the end. I want to throw up right now. All right, here we go. 